start over. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to talk about EQ. We've got these buttons here to kind of bring up the EQ on the screen. So I'm going to press the treble. First thing I got to do is turn the EQ on. And I'm going to pull up the treble. And let's look up here on the screen. And you can see that there are four bands of EQ. Pressing these four buttons moves between the four bands of EQ. Why do I need to do that? Because you only have one band of control on the console. I don't know if you're showing that right now, but mm -hmm. we've got one band of control. You can also use the arrow keys to move between the four bands. See? Pretty important. And before I go any further, I want to alert you to some preferences that are really important to understand on the console. I don't like this preference. Some users really do. It normally is set up so that whatever you touch gets selected. So I touch EQ, it jumps to EQ. I touch high pass filters, it jumps to the input. I hate that because I have fat hands and I'll be adjusting the compressor and my fat hand will touch the EQ and it will jump to the EQ. So there's some useful things, preferences to change. The other thing is it doesn't really show you the numeric value of what the knob is set to. So I want to change those by going home key, preferences, and dive into general prefs. Now, don't be afraid to look through here. There's a lot of really useful stuff. Um, it will normally default to configuration tab, but you can move through here. Users, the important stuff. I want to see what the EQ knobs are, what the new numbers are, so I, I click display rotary values. It gives me, it right, tells me in DB. The other thing is I hate that touch navigation of detail area. That's that thing that jumps to whatever my fat hand select. You might like that. That's totally okay with you. So I'm gonna put, turn that off. Now, to get back to the main screen, there's a couple things you can do. You can go up to home and hit default. And that brings us back to our main screen. The other way to do it, and I want to show you this, so let's go into something other screen, is this is a trick. Hold star down, and then the pops give you some options. For example, this is how you see graphic EQs across the faders, and the, but the home button's right there, and look at the screen, hit the home button, and go home. So I like that star home button. I use that a lot. Anyway, I've now defaulted. I've got it so my fat hands won't mess with it. I know how to move between the four bands of EQ. I know how to do it here with arrows as well. Now let's look and see what the default EQ looks like. Oh my gosh, the bands look horrible. Who would use that as default EQ? So the first thing you want to do is make your EQ look in a natural state how you would want to use it when you grab it because the console has terrible EQ by default. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make my high band a shelf by pressing this, this shape button because I like shelf. I'm going to crank it up a little higher in gain and I'm going to bring it down until the little light disappears and then I know it's back to unity. My high mid, that's way too tight of a cue. So I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to bring it till the LED turns off. And I'm going to do the same for this guy and I'm going to bring it down till the LED disappears and my base whoop, messed up and my base one I think is already pretty good the way I want it. So I've just kind of defaulted my EQ. Now that my EQ is defaulted, and I always do this to start off, I'm going to take that EQ and I'm going to copy it across the whole console. So it's ready to go and I can move quickly. Now I, I kind of started on some random, random channel here, but basically just click one of the EQs so you've selected it. Go up here to copy. And you're copying the EQ and just click any EQ button moving across the console and then hit paste, paste, paste. And I'm just pasting my default EQ across the whole console so I can move a lot faster once I start mixing. So that's the basics of EQ. You all know how to use it. I just wanted to show you how to get around on it. Cool.